I feel like now that Deshaun Jackson has retired as an Eagle, we got to go back to his greatest play ever in his career. Let's let's just play it for you. Has not returned one for a touchdown this year. Wait. And it's a line drive kick. Jackson bobbles it and now has to try and recover. Deshaun Jackson gets a block. Are you kidding? Deshaun Jackson still not in and now in for the touchdown. No flags. Unbelievable. I would be lying if I said I didn't watch this play at least once every other month. I mean, this is just an <laughs> incredible play. Not only did they come back from 24 to 10, now 24 to 3, 24 to 10, 35 to 10, as Merrill Reese said, the Giants fans were so miserable that day. Like, if you if you remember looking at those fans in the stadiums when they panned to them after the game ended, it was just a bunch of sad and depressed faces. Yeah, that's true. I think now that Deshaun Jackson is retiring as an Eagle, we can ask the question now, is he the greatest deep threat in NFL history? Let me just read you some of his stats that he's got. He's got 641 career receptions, over 11,000 yards receiving, 58 touchdowns. Of those, he has 24 touchdowns of 60 plus yards or more, which is the most by any player in NFL history. That's one more than Jerry Rice, who had 23 touchdowns of 60 plus yards. And that last stat really sort of puts into perspective how insane of a deep threat he really was. I mean, even towards the end of his career, when he was on the field, he was healthy. You knew that at any moment he could just run right by you and that there was nothing that you could really do about it. You know, Desh Deshaun Jackson, he, I, in my opinion, you know, it's a biased opinion, obviously. He's the greatest deep threat of all time, but he's got to at least be top three. The only people who are even comparable to him are Randy Motts and Jerry Rice. I mean, this man was just so electric. And you know, even you, you listed all those stats and all the stats are phenomenal, but like, you just gotta watch him. Like he's better, he's better than any single receiver as a deep threat ever. I mean, defenses would do everything to stop that deep threat and they still couldn't do it. And this is before he was even a fully fresh receiver when he had a bunch of other routes in his bag, a bunch of other tools he could use in his arsenal. He was still beating people just off this one play. Yeah. I think maybe Tyreek Hill, after all things are said and done, maybe he could have that. But I guess he's still playing, so we'll see what happens. I think no episode of Deshaun Jackson could even air with, if we don't even talk about Chip Kelly. I mean, this man single-handedly created a bunch of what-ifs. What if Chip Kelly doesn't get rid of Deshaun Jackson or LaShawn McCoy, and they actually get a legit coach? I mean, that team, if you remember, that team had Mike Vick, Deshaun Jackson, LaShawn McCoy, Jeremy Macklin, Brent Selleck. I mean, I could I could go on. That team was ridiculous. Up and down. If that team had like Doug Peterson or Nick Sirianni right now, I mean, we it'll just always be a question of what ifs, right? Yeah, no. I got to say if that team had Doug Peterson, and Nick Sirianni, and if they won the Super Bowl, all of those players would be bona fide Hall of Famers. LaShawn McCoy, uh, Michael Vick, maybe not Michael Vick because of, you know, his history and stuff and him, miss him missing time. But I guarantee LaShawn McCoy and Deshaun Jackson would be bona fide Hall of Famers, no doubt about it. Kind of sad, especially since the way, you know, Chip Kelly, uh, all that drama surrounding Deshaun Jackson, those gangs and those like stupid reports. Like, I don't know, it, it just... It just really, honestly, it's a black mark on the Philadelphia media and uh, Eagles history. Yeah, I, I think you touched on it. He, he would be without a question in the Hall of Fame if Chip Kelly was not the Eagles coach during that time. Him and a bunch of other ridiculous players on the Eagles. I mean, he, he still could end up in the Hall of Fame. And so I guess that's the question. If you read all of those stats that I said prior and the fact that he was a three-time pro bowler a second team all pro in 2009 i mean he actually has a ring with the la rams i mean he only really played seven games uh during that season but nonetheless he still has one i don't think he'll make it the hall of fame but i do think he definitely deserves to be in the hall of fame if i was creating my own hall of fame would he be in there no but the stairs have been uh become a lot lower that he definitely deserves to be in the hall of fame like there's so many players who you wouldn't even uh you wouldn't even ever think of, of being like you know top three at anything in their era that are in the Hall of Fame and Deshaun Jackson despite you know his pro him probably in most people's eyes being viewed as a one trick pony he was the greatest at that trick compared to any player in history or at least arguably but I would say he was by far the greatest. I think the really interesting thing about Deshaun Jackson is that he's really lived through all of the eras 
of Eagles football, if you really think about it. Like, let's let's take a step step back. He was drafted with Donovan McNabb. He was there with Kevin Cobb. He was there with Mike Vick. He was there with Nick Foles. You know, when Nick Foles threw for a NFL record number of touchdowns that time. And then after all of that nonsense happens, he comes back. He was there with Carson Wentz. And then he even played in that Dallas game uh, with Jalen Hurts, if you remember. So he's really seen the full spectrum of Eagles history. It is so sad that he ended up not being part of the Eagles when they actually went on their Super Bowl run. But if you really think about it, he's been there for a very long time in that locker room. You know, this is the kind of the sad thing about Deshaun Jackson's career. If you think about it, you know, when he left Philly, they ended up winning a Super Bowl a few years after. When he left Tampa Bay, he ended up winning a, they ended up winning a Super Bowl a few years after. When yeah. he left the Rams, they ended up winning a Super Bowl the same year. Honestly, yeah. that one ring might be the difference with him, him making the Hall of Fame and him not making the Hall of Fame, which is honestly quite sad for the sleep. Thanks for watching this video. Be sure to subscribe and check out this video here on if the Philadelphia Phillies are going to go trout fishing this offseason.